Hello everyone. In the last video, we understood how to create a workbook. Now we are going to talk about how to create a worksheet. And we are going to understand all the operations of creating an Excel worksheet, updating and deleting in this particular video. Okay. So let's get into that. So here if I go into the standard modules, I have three operations related to worksheet. Tbox create Excel worksheet. T box delete and update. So I'll drag and drop these all these three to my test case. Just in case you are new to this video, there is a part one of the video in which we are talking about the workbook creation. So it's better if you take a look into that and then come to this, then things will make more sense. Okay. So in the last video, we have created these two Excel workbooks. We are going to work with XLS in this video. Okay. So we have created this in the last video in which we wanted to create this file so we have kept it as create new okay now we do not want to create a file we want to create a worksheet inside that okay so since the file is already there we are going to just read that file so i'll put false here i just want to open the excel workbook okay now this excel worksheet needs to go in between these two okay so i'll move this here okay and here you see we are opening this and then in the excel work create excel worksheet i am going to mention the same workbook name so here it is test same thing i'll mention here test okay pretty easy this is now worksheet name whatever i want to put okay so let's say i'll put uh, uh, anything uh, let's say i'll put uh, country okay and here you can define the order as well what do we mean by order is where do we want to place this okay so if i do not mention the order it is going to automatically add in the position by default so if i do not mention the order it is going to uh, ideally whenever you'll open an excel workbook right you will be able to see this uh, sheet one so it is going to place in front of this but if i mention the order as one it is going to come in the first place so we can manage that whatever number we want okay so here if you'll click on this you'll be able to see that as well one first last whatever you want okay so we have opened the worksheet we have created the oh sorry we have opened the workbook we have created the worksheet now we have to close the excel workbook okay in the last video we discussed about safe path changing the path and changing the extension and all we don't require that anymore so i'll just delete these two okay so here all I need to do is I just need to mention that path and save as true. So that's how it is going to save the worksheet name. Okay. So I'm just going to run these three fields right now, these three steps to see if it is actually creating or not. So let's quickly run this. So it says worksheet country was created successfully. Let's take a look into that. So it is in this and we were working with XLS file. So I'll open this. So here you see we have successfully added the worksheet. Okay. Now we'll quickly take a look at the work or uh, the order as well. Okay. Now whenever if I'll run this script again, what will happen is the same issue what in the last time since it is already existing, it is not going to it is going to throw us an error. Okay. But let's say I want to add something else, okay, country and let's say currency, okay. But I want currency to be placed at the first position, okay. So I can either select number one or I can put first as well here, okay. Now if I run this, you will notice that uh, it is going to create the worksheet in the first place. So we'll see once this gets executed, okay. Now let's go to the file and we see that currency is created the first place okay so this is straightforward uh, simple to understand how to create a worksheet okay now there are several other operations which we might need to do right so we might need to update the excel worksheet or we might need to delete so these are the two modules which i have copy pasted so we'll include we'll understand one by one both of the things okay so let me use this update worksheet okay i will uh, will we can work with the current one so i'll 
move this outside okay so we will have open excel workbook update excel worksheet and close excel work workbook okay now same thing applies in case of update as well we have to keep the same workbook name so our workbook name is test which is referencing to the workbook now we have noticed here that we have created something called currency okay let's say currency is not something which we want okay we want it as to be continent or something like that okay so what i'll mention here is i'll mention currency is the current worksheet name uh, uh, worksheet name and the new worksheet name is going to be continent okay so this is the update which i want okay and let's say the order also i want okay so i want to place it at the last and since this was present at the first place i can mention it as last here okay now ideally it should replace the currency workbook uh, worksheet name to continent and place it at the last so let's see if it actually works okay so our operation is completed let's take a look into this so if i go here see currency was replaced to continent and it has placed in the last section as well okay so we understand both the things uh, how to create excel worksheet how to update now we'll understand about how to do delete pretty straightforward uh, as uh, uh, similar operations as we have been seeing here but let's put it here now we can use in conjunction as well or we can use it outside whichever way it is required okay so i will just put it here let's let's say we want to delete the continent one okay so i'll put continent here this is the worksheet which i want to delete but workbook name i have to mention so i'll mention it as test here okay now if i run this it should delete my continent worksheet right so if i run this our operation is completed let's take a look if it actually worked so see we are not seeing the continent anymore so that's how you can use all these three operations for uh, updating or working with your worksheet in the next video we are going to talk about how to define an excel range how to put in the data if i if you want to update the data if you want to so everything around data input and output within the excel okay thank you very much if you like the video do like share and subscribe and have a great day bye bye